So one of the issues with locking screws is that um, by its very nature, it does not compress uh, the screw to the bone, right? It's an internal X fixed design. So one of the mistakes that people often make is they'll, they'll, they'll have a fixation where the plate is off the bone, they'll put a locking screw in, and if that's not their intention, the, the, the screw will not bring the plate down to the bone. And it's useful to, to be able to do that uh, is to bring uh, the bone to the plate or plate to the bone depending on what you're trying to do. So typically in that situation what we'll do, as we previously mentioned, is use a non-locking screw, uh, either definitively or provisionally, uh, to reduce uh, the plate and the bone together. Alternative to this is this device right here, which is a sleeve that goes over top of the locking screw um, called a save lock. It captures the, the threads of the screw head, so it basically makes it like a non-locking screw. The threads are no longer evident on the head. And we, we'll apply this here. Again, we're using a locking screw right now. Advancing this, advancing this. Now, if I, I don't have this save lock on the screw head, once the, the, once the screw hits the plate, it'll lock right where it lies. But now that I'm blocking the screw heads with the save lock, it's going to drive the plate down. And I get my fixation there, and I can pop this off or, or spin it off and then advance this, and it, we achieve both compression of the plate to the bone, or vice versa, and locking of the screw to the plate.